What's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Peep game. This your boy, Town Biz. All right, man. So great fight between Sergey Derbyanchenko and Kristen and Billy. Action-packed fight. Entertaining fight. But at the end of the day, only one could win the fight, and that was Christian and Billy. I had him winning the fight nine rounds to one. I only gave Derby and Chaco the fourth round. I thought uh, Christian and Billy's uh, was far dominant. Uh, he posed his will. He landed hard shots. He hurt Derby and Chaco throughout the fight. Derby and Chaco was fighting with basically one one arm after the fifth round. He tore a bicep, but you know. He showed tremendous heart trying to fight on, and it was on the verge of getting stopped because he was taking a lot of punishment. But Andre Rozier let him fight on and finished the fight on the shield. But you have to ask yourself, you know, the type of punishment he took, will this have long-term effect on him in the near future? Keep in mind, Derby and Chaco has been in some wars, you know, and it always seemed that he just can't get over the hump. He just can't put it in fifth gear to where basically he could just ride out, you know, and that's just the problem. He just can't do it. And that's been his problem in quite a few fights. You know, you can make an argument that he won the triple G fight. You can make an argument that he might've won the Jaime Mugia fight. But, you know, with that being said, you know, um, what happens now? As far as Christian and Billy go, I would like to see how he would fare against some of the other super middleweights. Jenebeck is supposed to be moving up to uh, middleweight. That's a fight that could be made. That's a fight that could be easily made. Hammer Mugia has a fight coming up next month. That'll be featured on ESPN. So there are some fights out there for him. You know, Canelo's not going to fight him. At this stage, Canelo's not going to fight a relentless guy like that, even though there is some flaws in, in Billy's uh, defense. He does have some flaws in his defense. You can counter him. You can hit him with upper uppercuts, and, and you can hit him with body shots. Defense is very um, not up to par, to say the least. But with that being said, he's an exciting fighter, great offensive fighter. So we'll see how he fares you know, in the near future, uh, he would probably destroy Edgar Belanga. You know, I think he would wash Edgar Belanga. I think he would beat the hell out of him, you know, but nevertheless, we'll see what happens. Great fight. This your boy, Town Biz. I'm out.